Morning. Good, how are you? I'm good. Good morning, Barry. Morning. So how did you enjoy that um, um, PC call yesterday? Uh, the one with Bobby Hamlin. That was very inspiring. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, she, she, uh, she just knocked it right out of the park, you know, and, and did it fast. Um, and um, it was just, I, I, they wanted us all to invite somebody. And I just, I thought she would be one you all needed to hear. Um, so it was, um, yeah. So she'll be at about a million in sales once she, she, once her listing uh, that's under contract closed. So, you know, I think she'll be absolutely capping her first year and, and, um, and she just goes for it. But, and, but one of the things, Georgia Alpazar, who's our region director, um, who was running the call, um, and she, she could be kind of a pistol sometimes. And, and, and she likes to do a teaching moment. So we had, a, we had a great, all kinds of teaching moments. But then she came up with all those ideas, you know, like the, the you know, doing the newsletter idea. And, um, and I mean, that was, all, that was all awesome. So, so what we're going to do today is we're going to, we're going to slip into um, Ignite Elementals and we're going to talk about prospecting. So we're going to do a deeper dive into lead generation and getting, getting really specific about it. And what I'm going to do is go open up my, um, hello, Jennifer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Hi, honey. Let me, let me bring my, my PowerPoint up. And let's go back in here. Okay, are you looking at my PowerPoint? I am. Awesome. I just want to let you know, I just had a little bit of an issue with the gentleman I take care of. That's why my stethoscope is on. Okay. He was having a little difficulty breathing. I think he's fine right now, but just in case, I just want to throw that out there. Okay. Well, if you have to go, you just go. All right. Okay. And we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll but just, this one, I really don't want to have to go because I'm really into this one. So awesome. Okay. Let me bring up my, my, my note. So what we're going to do today is, um, um, we're going to, we're going to talk about prospecting and, and how, how it contributes to lead generation. And, um, we're going to talk about some different prospecting methods. And we're going to talk about how you can go, go about developing your own uh, prospecting plan. So, so there's, you know, as we talked about at the start, basically there's, you know, two approaches to lead gen. One, one of them is, is prospecting and the other piece is, is basically marketing. Um, and if you can recall, you know, prospecting is the more direct way of doing it. Um, and, 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 and it doesn't cost anything. It's just, you, it's, your, you, it's just you. Um, whereas marketing is, is, um, um, it's not as direct. It can be slower, but it's, it, it can be something that, that really pays off over time. Um, um, and, um, and so what we want to do is be a prospecting based marketing enhanced business. Okay. So what we're going to talk about today, we're going to focus on that, that part on our, on our list of lead generating for buyers and sellers. And, um, and, and you guys, this is, this prospecting piece is, is, is going to be the map to, to, to your success. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways of doing it, which we're going to get into. And so why don't I ask you what, what, what does, what does prospecting mean to you? What, what do you think would be prospecting? I think it would be, you know, just looking for customers. Okay. Uh, and, how, and how would you do that? What would be a way of doing it? I'll tell you one way I did yesterday. I was at Publix. I was at Publix. And I always wear my Keller Williams name tag now. So the gentleman said, oh, you're a realtor? Boom. That's one way I I just wear my my uh, beautiful little name badge, okay. and if people see it, and it's like they saw an electrician that they need. It's I think it works great. So so um, Barry, what what does what, what does prospecting mean to you? Prospecting mean to you? 
Well, number one, adding people to your database, but adding people to your database that you've actually made some kind of connection with. Mm -hmm. Someone who is may know that you're a realtor or may not know that you're a realtor, but someone in the, your past or present that you've made a connection with that when you go to contact them in any fashion, if it's Facebook, uh, a note in the mail, uh, or a phone call, that they respond to you and they give you the time to at least explain why you're calling. Okay. Okay. Oh, so all good. Don, Don, if, Don if, can you start your video for me? Video for me? Okay. Um, I kind of think she's away from her computer right now. So let's let's um, let's move on. Let's move on to our next slide here, and um, and let's 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 dive into this. So um, so we want we're going to be looking at deep dive prospecting methods. We're going to take action, develop a plan, and um, and so so what I want you to be able to do after we we get through this section is is know exactly what what the alt, all the various options are where you can can prospect and um, kind of decide which one's going to be best suited to you. So if we if we go back to that that lead generation model that we've seen before, um, your prospecting and your marketing end up capturing leads for you. Okay, and and a lead a lead is 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 um, a, a name, a contact information. But a lead is not usually someone you've connected with. So let's say you did a, a virtual open house and did a live stream on Facebook, and you got a lead off of Facebook for doing that. Um, you're literally doing a combination of marketing and prospecting at that point because you physically went out and did that open house. Um, but but if once you talk to one of those leads and actually connect with them, then they become a contact, and um, and so. That you're walking through that procedure. Then, once you got a contact, then we get down to the cultivating piece, and that's where you know where you're going to be nurturing them because you're going to have a lot of people, you know, that you start putting in your database that are not ready to do real estate right now. Um, in fact, it might be seven years before they are. Um, but you, you, by cultivating them, you're also looking down the road for referrals for people that they know um, that you could help. So. That's the nurturing piece, and and in command, um, as you get more and more familiar with that, um, we've got all kinds of campaigns, and and you can set up smart plans and create. You know, there, there's a, there's a lot of ways that you can you can campaign somebody. Um, one of the things you're going to learn about is is um, um, how to do um, uh, neighborhood reports where you can literally, you know, have whatever neighborhood somebody lives in, um, and you're gonna be able to once a month or twice a month, send them all the information about what's going on in their neighborhood. New, new listings that have come on, things that have sold, you know, this and, and the metrics, you know, what what's the, the, the average sales price per square foot, that kind of thing. That's a campaign, in, and, that, and that's, a, that's a, a once a month or a twice a month touch. And I'm going to tell you right now, people love to know what their house is worth. That is meaningful. Um, so we'll talk more about campaigns, but that's just just one of the ways that you can go about cultivating. Um, and and so then our goal is to take them to the point of, of, of an appointment, and then and then you know get them you know looking for a property or listing a property, and then bam under contract and bam close. So that's kind of you know where we want to go. But we got to do a lot of this stuff up here to get there. So let me let me pull this out. I've got my. Um, it's kind of cool when when I teach in the training room, <clears throat> I can literally have my script because I use the script too, um, to to look at, and that'll be on my computer on one side. You're going to be looking at the PowerPoint on the on the overhead. So now I got it on my iPad. <laughs> So if I'm looking down, it's going, okay, there's Pat's cheat sheet. So, so what we're going to be, one of the things that, that I want you to be real purposeful about your, your, uh, uh, your lead generation. 
for example, what I mean by that is if you're if you're going to um, you know once once we, we we don't have to have social distancing anymore, you're going to a, um, a neighborhood barbecue. Um, you want to be purposeful about that because what what do you want to you, you you want everybody at that that, that um, barbecue to know that you're a real tour, but you can do it not by you know here's my card. Do you, do you know anybody that needs to buy or sell real estate? You can literally instead be just having conversations and turn the conversation to real estate and bring in that local expert piece. Okay. So if you're just be real purposeful about what you're doing, um, you don't want to accidentally talk about real estate. You want to know that you, can, you know your goal is to talk about real estate. Okay. Um, so your your lead generation is is if you define it, it's taking a message and using a method to drive that message to a desired audience. So. That message and that method, um, they call it the two M's. The message needs to match your market um, and it needs to make an offer for immediate response. Um, so so you, you, you will tailor that, that message to the, the recipients. Um, and, um, and one of the things in, in, in that message is you want to call for action. So, let's say um, um, you're doing geographic farming. So that's a, that's, that's, that, that's a, um, um, a, a combination. It, it can be, it can be in-person prospecting or you're door knocking. So let's look at that as being a real purposeful way of doing it. Now, what would be a message that if you were knocking on the door that you would want to give to um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Owner of the house? Do you think? Oops. Let me unmute. Let me unmute. So what? So what, what? What? Would you say that again, Jennifer? Say that again, Jennifer. I was just saying, if, if obviously, uh, if, if I was doing an open house, um, I would definitely want to let them know that. Um, also just making some kind of interaction with them, letting them know that I know about the neighborhood and I can answer any questions that they might have um, and pretty much pick them out. You know, my script on that would be feeling them out and then going in the direction that I would feel would be more beneficial to them and me. Okay. Um, let, let's, let's give this a, well, let's, let's have Barry weigh in on this. And Barry, I have, Barry, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have I have to. I have to unmute you because I get feedback. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. 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 Spot on. So here's what if you've got two different ways that you're gonna you're gonna you can go on off the neighborhood. An open house is definitely if that's a, a total. Here's an invitation. You you always want to come from contribution. So you want to have something that they would they, they would want, and what they really want to know is what their house is worth. And so we just get back to that simple simple thing. If if I was knocking a door and and it was not for an open house but just to door knock and get to you know get to know the neighbors, I would have an I would I would I would create a market report and and give it to them. Can I give you a report on what's been going on in the market in our neighborhood? And and let's say it's it's your neighborhood as well. You want to you know you want to let them know that you're you're a local realtor that you live there too and. Um, and so, you know, a market report, you can pull those stats right out of, uh, right out of matrix or MLS. And let's say, let's say you, um, um, let's say you lived in Boca Royale. And, and so you could go in and pull off a report about Boca Royale, um, but you could pull it off on a zip in, in, in Port Charlotte. Um, you could pull it off on, a, um, on any kind of a community. You just whatever you're door knocking, you can literally map search it in, in Matrix and get the same information. So you can subdivision search or you can map search, 
here's what's been going on in the neighborhood in the last you know 12 months there were you know 44 houses sold the median sales price was blah 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 days on market was blah 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 you know sales price to list price ratio 98 percent that's stuff that they'd want to know right yes i just wanted yes, to ask, i just wanted to ask um while we're there when we're doing that um how would you go about getting your information we, obviously we already have their address but their name, their phone number, would you kind of like, because I wouldn't want to feel intrusive, but I want that information. So what I would do is this, I, you know, I would look at them and say, is this information that you could, would find valuable if you got it on a monthly basis? And they're going to go, uh, okay. spot on. So, yep. at that, at, so you got their physical address and now you need their email address. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and that's totally, I mean, it's like, would you like more of it? And they're going to go, yeah. So you're not going to beat on me, right? And it's just, oh, I'm just going to set you up on a neighborhood report. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Okay. It's, it's um, um, you know, it's much like when you're, you're doing an open house. Um, um, one of the things that you want to do at that open house is um, you get their contact information. Um, you can have a sign-in sheet. They, I always approach that, that the sellers would like to know, you know, they want, they, they, I, the sellers want me to show, want me to show them, you know, that I've been working hard for them. So I need you to sign in so they can see we had, you know, we had visitors and, and, um, um, but you know, if, if they, sometimes they get kind of, um, I don't mind too. <laughs> and, and what, and what you do is, is just say, you know, I, what I would do is I would just share our Keller Williams app. Let's, you know, one of the things that when, when you're doing a, a, an open house in, in, in the flesh is I, I always, you know, greet them at the door and introduce myself and, and give them a flyer on the house. And, um, and then I just look at them and I go, so um, um, how'd you find out about my open house? Because you always want to know what's working, right? Right. That's one thing. And the second thing is, is let's say, um, let's say they told you, uh, they found, they saw, saw it on Zillow. Go ahead and let them walk the house and see, why don't you just stop in the kitchen for a minute before you head out. And, and, um, um, and, um, um, and at that point, I would just look at them and go, you know, um, I don't know if you found this, but, but most people find that there's a lot of inaccuracies on Zillow. Um, a lot of times people be really interested in a house and, and it, it sold six months ago. Um, a lot of times they'll be, you know, they'll be interested in a house and it's not even on the market. It's a free foreclosure. And I, I'd love to share our Keller Williams app. Um, this, this app will give you totally accurate current information and you can use it to do another one of those little neighborhood reports right on. So now it's like, and you can use this to see what's going on in your neighborhood. And, and at that point, you know, just say, can I text it to you? And they go, well, sure. Because they don't think about the fact you just captured the server. Okay. Okay. There's, there's some chips. Excellent. So, so let's, let's move on here. We were talking about the fact that we want to do, you know, we do prospecting based with marketing enhanced. And as a new agent, I don't want you spending a ton of money. You know, probably the one thing I would spend money on is farm is geographic farming. And and um, and you can do you can do farming um, and, and we'll talk more about that in the marketing class tomorrow. But but that's that's not a, a, a high cost thing. Um, so, but you're prospecting based. I mean, that, that's the piece of it, that, that, that's the piece that's, that's you throwing your body at it. So let's look at some of the ways we can go face to face. Um, so what do we know of, if, if we look at um, 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 number one, um, under phone or face to face, we've got, um, for sale by owners and we've got expires. What do we know about a for sale by owner or an expire? 
they aren't they didn't sell it <laughs> somebody didn't sell it either the expired the, re the realtor that had it before or they're not doing very well selling it okay what else do we know we know well, for sell by owners, you know immediately that they want to save money on the sale of their property. So if they get a realtor involved, they're probably going to want to pay less than the norm. So, so there's a, there's a, there's a third thing. There's a third thing. You know, I'm going to mute you again, Barry. Oh, there you guys are. So what else do we know about a for sale by owner, Don and Bobby? There's your smiling faces. That's what I was thinking too. They're, they're trying to save some money and they don't really want to uh, pay that, you know, all the extra, the rates and stuff like and that. And they haven't sold their house yet. Okay, so we, so what we think, the, the number one thing we know about them is they want to sell their homes. Yes. So, so, so there's a lot of people that make, make their living out of working just expires or just for sale by owners. Um, and so, and that's, and that's a, that's a collection of folks that you can work that, that you don't have to know in advance. You know, they're, 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 your sphere are people that, you know, these are folks you don't know, but you know, they want to sell their home. Now I've, I've done, I've done quite a few for sale by owners, you know, back in the day. I did not work. I did not work with expired. Um, I got one listing from an expired and it was an old expired. I like old expired. Um, because because the day that you come off the market, um, you get a lot of phone calls, and um, and every one of those you know phone calls is, is like you know the, the, the agents are not um, um, they're not living the, the, the laws of the um, of, um, the breaking federal law because these these people are on a do not call registry most likely. Um, and I, I had a gal, she was resting her listing for about three months in the fall, and um, she was a hard head. She was a realtor from Illinois, and got, I hate working with realtors because they think they get, they know they know more than you. And and she she just insisted on on um, selling her house for more her, her condo for more than it was worth. So we rested the thing, and my God, her first phone call from an agent was at six thirty the next morning. Asked me if that that seller was pissed, and and she had a, quite a temper. <laughs> and so 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 your expireds, they got they got a couple of issues. Number one, they've been on the market for six months and they haven't sold, so they're not real happy about that. And it doesn't matter if the reason they didn't sell is because they were hard heads and wouldn't listen to their agent, moi in this case, um, and. Um, you know, they, they just, they're just mad. And um, I like them after, you know, after a few days um, when, the, when they've settled down. Um, for sale by owners, there's different reasons why they're, 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 they're selling for themselves. Some of them are cheap. Um, and some of them, some of them think they know more than you. And, um, they, and, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because they dealt with really bad realtors. And, and, and one of the things you'll hear from me again and again is you've got an awful lot of competition out there that's just not, not good. They, they just don't know their business. So if you've, if you've spent, you know, if, if your last two row fours were, were, were worthless, what do you think about, it? why, why would you give it to a realtor? Um, you can do open houses as a for sale by owner now. And if I, if I were an agent I, and, and, and we could be back out in the world again, I'd be going to those open houses. Totally. Um, and, and meeting the people. Um, sometimes, sometimes you get funny reasons. Um, I had one um, um, a gal that came into my, my um, office when I was working down, down the street and, and she, uh, she brought a flyer. She says, could you put this where the other agents would see it? And I went, sure. It was a Saturday. I had floor duty, and and um, and so I said, "Well, tell me about your house." And and she just started going, just telling, 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 and she was happy to have been asked so that she could tell me all that. And and, um, and I said, you know, so after she talked for a while, and and I, mm -hmm, yep, yep, yep. Um, I just looked at her and I said, "I'm curious. 
um, I said, um, why have you decided not to um, work the professional room for? And she said, well, my husband, Sean, doesn't want to sell the house. And I went, oh, but you do. She goes, yeah. And I said, why do you want to sell it? And he doesn't. She said, well, she said, I hurt my back. And, and and about six months ago, and and it's just not it's just not good. And she says, my husband Sean's a long haul trucker, so he's gone all week. And when he's home on the weekend, he just wants to put his feet up, get his can of beer in his recliner, and watch the and watch football. And um, and 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 she says, so I'm the one that has to take care of the yard. And she says, and that's just really tough for me to do with my back being the way it is. And I went, oh. So I asked her after we um, we finished I, if I could send her some marketing stuff. And she said, sure. And I got a call from her about 10 days later and invited me over for a presentation. And I said, so how'd you get Sean to come around? <laughs> and she said, I went I went to Home Depot and I bought a bunch of plants and I put put the pots out in the in the lanai and I went in it was two o'clock in the afternoon otter and snot and she says I told him you you plan them <laughs> so it's not always what you think is, is the bottom line with for sale by owners there's a lot of reasons so second one is circle prospecting and and when we're talking about door knocking and in, in, with a farm with farming uh, um, in mind that's circle prospecting you know, that's, or, or frankly, when you're door knocking for an open house, you're circle prospecting around that house. Um, and um, I have never circle prospected apartment complexes. And I just have not done it. Um, you got, you got people that are renters. And right now, you know, we've got the lowest, low, really low, low interest rates. But, um, um, you know, maybe, maybe when, when we're not having all this massive unemployment, that, that, that would be something you could do. Maybe do it with a door hanger, you know, that you, something you can hang on their door. Um, and and um, your community, number three, community outreach, I think you just totally need to get involved. Um, and, and, and what's really important that you do is you do stuff that is important to you, that you have a passion about. Um, um, as as uh, when, I, when I went back into real estate, I've, I've, de I've done, done a lot of leadership for, for the Board of Realtors here in town, but I wasn't doing community things uh, because for me as a manager, it made more sense because I write my volunteering into my, into my, um, um, I, I put that right into my, um, my calendar. It's, it's, it's to my mind, it, I, I'm doing that for, for, for two reasons. One is something I love to do. And two, I want, I want to, I want to increase my spare period. Um, and so you, you just write it, put it right in your business plan. And um, so as, as, as a manager and, and, and now as a coach, I do a lot of stuff for the board and women's council of realtors, but as an agent, I was out doing things in the community. I was in Rotary. Um, and, um, um, you know, if I, if I were still a realtor right now, I would be, I, I, I'd be in a golf, a couple of golf leagues. I love to golf. And, and, and I could hang out with other golfers. So we have something in common. Um, and, and then just stay and do the social stuff. And, and, and um, so that, I think that's a really important element. And, and, and Bobby, I think your past, your past service out in the community would make that a really easy one for you to roll right back into. Um, so that, that's, that's an awesome thing. Um, key relationships. These are, as you, as you get to know people, and you, um, and let's say you're doing a lot of business with somebody, it's really just fine to just turn around and ask for somebody to help help back out, right? Like if you're doing all your uh, all your um, um, stuff through through one title company person, you know, asking for you know a, a reciprocal um, 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 business is fair enough. Okay. Um, teaching and speaking, absolutely. Um, I don't know what they're talking about with meals, um, but door to door, we talked about that networking events. Um, you can do um, um, a farmer's market. I know people that, that um, Patricia Bonnell was getting a lot of names by working the park, parking lot at the Englewood Farmer's Market. She'd be there, she had bags and, and um, 
little shopping, you know, fabric shopping bags with, with her stuff printed on it. And, um, and, and inside was information and her business card. And pretty soon she just saw everybody was carrying her bag. So, so they were all like billboards for it, right? Awesome idea. Okay, so let's see what they want me to talk about here. Mm -hmm. Pat, I like what um, uh, what was her name? Bobby. Bobby is doing with the uh, face mask, putting them in the bag and passing them out. I like that idea that, a lot. That was a, that was a really good one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think you know, and I and her and her old the old guys in their cars. She started doing that her first week as a realtor. Her mom, her mom lives up by big lots, and 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 the uh, these old old guys with their their cars, their vintage cars, they're there. They, they they come once a week and hang out at the or once a month at the parking lot at, at big lots, and and so she was. Um, <laughs> I I think when when we stop having social distances, she's going to be going over to the yum the yum yum bakery and buying donuts and passing them out <laughs> you know it's um um i think i think if you can be creative you know, like the face mask i mean that's 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 the, our times i mean that's that is totally using our times to help you um be 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 of assistance to people in our community because you can't buy them online right now so in and, and like mine, I you know she, she made me two masks. And it's like thank you. That's, but I don't have a sewing machine. <laughs> I used to have a sewing machine, but I stopped. Um, so I think you know the, 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 if you work with the time, open houses. You know it, it, once you've got yourself your 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 lockbox keys so you can get into listings. You know it, you you need to be doing virtual open houses. And you know something? I think that when we're done with all this, you might do you might keep doing them because people are getting um, a lot of leads off of them. Okay, so so I would I would keep that as as a strategy. And social media, I mean, you just need to be there. Um, um, I I you know Blake, I don't know. I asked him to do a a class on building a a, a drop dead gorgeous um, a business page. And it, I don't think that's it, has that been on the on the on the calendar. I've not seen it. So that was. I haven't one. seen it. Yeah, that's so. Hopefully, you know, that'll be something coming up. And um, and then in, and doing. Oh, we got fighting going on. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so fun living with my kitties. So here, door knocking. So I think we did a pretty good job of talking about that door knocking. Um, Here's what you know. Let's say you know what, what, what. One of the things that that Georgia was talking about yesterday was was time blocking, right? And and finding lead gen time every day. So let's talk about lead gen and and prospecting. Um, um, you know, a couple of hours today is the a, a couple hours a day is the mob. Script practice and role play for half an hour. Then you go out. Or you get on the phone um, and and do do your lead gen, and, and the goal is is to do about 15 hours of that a week. Now you can put that 15 hours a week into some different buckets. Um, one of the buckets, if if you're let's say you do three hours um, um, at an open house, that's three out of those 15 hours of lead gen. You're just done. It doesn't mean you hit the phones for for, for 15 hours. Um, because you probably don't know that many people to call. Um, and and so but you want to get more and more people that you can add to your database. <coughs> so if you go and um, so if you decide you're just gonna you're gonna work a neighborhood, let's say there's um, let's say there's there's 750 homes in a neighborhood and you want to farm that. And we're gonna talk more about farming tomorrow, real specific, because that's most a lot of that is marketing. 
but the door knocking aspect of it. So we've, you've got yourself a, a nice market report. What I would do is just figure that every day you're going to do X number of houses. Pat, so, can I just ask you one question? Sure. <clears throat> I, it's a kind of a stupid question, but I always think no question is stupid. We obviously would not be able to do gated communities, correct? Correct. Okay. I know a lot of people because I used to work at the Venetian Golf and Country Club and I know a lot of people in there, but I, I don't know how I'd get their numbers. <laughs> I would mail them. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Um, direct, direct mail still works in real estate. And, and, um, um, and we're going to get into a lot of that in marketing um, tomorrow. Um, I, I, I started doing direct mail with my last business, and um, um, I believe in it. It, it. it works. It's a slower game. I mean, it, it's kind of like nurturing. It's kind of like branding. And, um, but, you know, it's kind of a slow roller. I, I, and, and I'll talk more about mailings, but I think if you, if you can mail a community and then follow up with door knocking, you've just gotten, you've just gotten yourself in front of them twice. Right. What you do is you take that 750. So let's say, um, let's say 750. Let's 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 get a calculator here, and um, so because that's a good size farm. That, that, that's and, and because the postal routes, which I'm going to show you about tomorrow, um, where you can do every door direct mail, which is way cheaper than than a, a regular stamp. Um, most of those. Um, most of those postal routes are, are 750 to 850 people, homes. So if we take and let's get our calculator and we've got, let's just keep that 750 example. So if we, if we want to do it um, twice a year, so we're, we're going to try and get that done in 26 weeks then. So we've got 750 and I'm going to divide it by 26 weeks. That would be... 28, 28 knocks in a week, okay, or 20, let's say 30 to make it a nice round number. So 30 knocks in a week, you could go out and, um, you know, you could go do, you know, uh, hit it, hit it once a week and do those knocks, or you could just go and just say, you know, I'll knock, I'll knock for, you know, an hour in the morning this day, and then I'll go knock, um, um, on the weekend, and I might knock it at between five and six, you know, when people are coming home from work. So, again, be real strategic about it. But, but the whole point I'm trying to make is consistency. You, you know, you, you get a plan and you work a plan. So, so let's say, so you go, okay, so I'm going to spend, um, to knock 30 doors, which you can easily do in a day, just in a couple hours, because you're not, you're not going to get everybody home. You probably get about 10 people to talk to. Um, and, um, and so you do that once a week. So let's say you spend, you spend two hours doing that or three hours doing that. And then you spend three hours on an open house. You've just done six hours a week, Jan. Um, you know, it, it, so just, you know, you want to consistently do stuff, but there's a lot of different ways to, to take care of that, that prospect and um, lead generation, generation bucket. Make sense? Okay, so, and, and, and again, you know, with your door knocking, as long as you're coming from contribution, it's not weird. So if you're door knocking around an open house, you're going with an invitation. You have a reason to be there. Right. But then are you going to try and engage that per those people, that person at the door, and find out more about them? Absolutely. You know, one of the things I, I would do is um, um, I, I ask questions like, so, how do you like living in this neighborhood? So what if you get someone who says, well, I used to like it, but this, I've got this a-hole of a neighbor who is dog barks all the time and we're going nuts and we're about ready to move. It's like, whoa, <laughs> I can help you with that. Um, so, you know, that, that's, or, or they just go, you know, it's abs I love living here. Um, then, then, you know, when you're at that open house, you can share that kind of stuff of why they love living there, but it's getting them talking, asking right. questions. And we always come back to that no matter what in this business. You're always asking questions. Make sense? Yes. Okay. 
agent to agent referrals. Now, I had quite a bit of business that way um, when I was a new agent. Um, and and I, I'm gonna tell you where I got it. Part of it, part of it was because I lived on Palm Island and, and people didn't understand Palm Island real estate. And, and it's kind of like the wild, wild west out there. And they were smart not to go anywhere near it because there's all kinds of weird stuff. Um, so that that was one way, and that was just building relationships with other other agents. Um, the uh, another thing I, I got very involved. I went to Florida Realtors conferences, and I would network like crazy. I never ever sat with pe with the people that I was friends with. I, I would be out there talking to anybody and everybody, and it was funny. You know, I I, I I'd be there with with a bunch of other gals from from our our women's council or the board. And, 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 and they'd be waiting for me. They'd go, well, where have you been? And I said, well, I, I was in the ladies room. And they said, I suppose you were networking while you were in line. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, and so, you know, I remember we, we, um, we had a retreat. It was in Fort Myers. And, um, and so everybody's all, all, my whole group is all sitting together. And I went to the table two, two down, where there's no soul. There are a bunch of gals from Naples. Well, guess what? Nobody from Naples is going to come to Englewood anymore if that's a referral, if they've got somebody. And it turned out, I'm sitting next to the president of the Naples Women's Council chapter, and she had a home she wanted to sell in Lemon Bay. Woohoo! Um, so, so what I, you know, you just network. But you need to, you need to get out to the places where they where they are. Another thing that you can do is on on. Um, and I will show you how to do this in in, um, um, in coaching. Is your your uh, you, you, Williams has a really powerful referral network, and you can go into your Kelly app and start start reaching out and trying to make connections with people, and um, and that's and that's a neat little tool. Um, so so I, you know I remember. Um, um, well, there was a, there was an agent that was working Venice, and uh, my golly, what did he get? He, last I heard, he had ten referrals off of this Kelly app, where he you know hooked up with people. So, and, and this is something where you can hook up with them everywhere. But what you might want to do is go, okay, um, like you, I would hook up with realtors in um, in Fort Myers. Don and just say you know you used to live down there and um, um, and and so if you've got anybody that's thinking about moving to a little quieter place you know I, I appreciate a referral because you can put a message when you when you're doing these these reaching out for, for referrals so that's an agent to agent referral that's what they mean by that. So, so this is here we are in command, um, and and this is showing. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you in there right now. How's our time? Um, I'm going to take you in there if time time allowing, and take you through this. We talked about open houses. Um, Couple of other things when you're doing a live open house is is um, you know we're, we're we're talking preparing that's just getting you know printing out flyers um, you can print out MLS flyers or you can make a, a nice looking flyer which is what I would probably do um, and um, and you can do that in designs um, you can create your um, um, invitation for that open house a really classy looking flyer in command designs so it's really top class and um, um, you know take pictures and, and you literally drag and drop a light into this gorgeous flyer um, i could create a, a beautiful flyer in, in a matter of about 10 minutes and um, and so that's down the road something that you're really going to want to do now what else would you want to do if you were sitting in open house and you got a lot of people coming through and um let's say you know they're looking they're looking for a house that's in the you know 260 to 280 range and the house you're sitting is 320 and they just go it's a little high price for us you know what what else is on the market 
Maybe they like the neighborhood, but that house is just, you know, a little too rich for their blood. Wouldn't you want to know every other house that's for, for sale in that community? Yeah. And, you know, what I would do, you know, I would, I would go in there with my, my iPad and I would literally have created a search and saved it, put it in a cart so I could pull it up and show it to them. Well, this is good. And all of a sudden you just, you just got yourself in a final with somebody because you are prepared. And you go, oh, okay, well, 260, you know, there's, there's, there's three houses in here because you took some time to look through them <coughs> that, that might fit your needs. What, 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 you can take a minute and take a look at them if that's okay. And they go, well, sure. And then you close for, you close for appointment showing the houses. So that preparation is really, really important. Now, do you immediately throw them in your car and drive there? <laughs> That, that was something my ex Peter used to do. Oh, come on. And I go, well, you need to talk to him for a while first. <laughs> and then he couldn't understand why they just disappeared. When am I on him? Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course he wouldn't listen to me because I was his wife and he hated having me as his manager. Um, the fight, it was the final death knell. <laughs> The prospecting, that's the door knocking the neighborhood. All right. And um, and and then pursuing, pursuing is that's the, that's the follow-up piece. So if you if you got somebody's, you know, if, let, let's say you shared that Kelly or that Kelly Williams app with them and, and um so you captured their phone number, is that somebody you're gonna want to call like the very next day? Absolutely. You and and you guys, what you can literally do is if you ask enough questions while they're there you know you might find out that they're you know they're just kind of they're just kind of kicking the can right now but they're, they're going to be retiring down here in about a year and a half you want to get them in your database and set them up on a campaign and um and and um uh, if they're if they're going to be if there's somebody that's let's say they're um they're they're, they're going to be seriously looking in about three months um, set them up, up on a campaign, but set them up on a search too, so so they can start looking at houses. And you would do that in in um, um, the MLS. Um, so you know you want you want anybody and everybody that comes to that hope open house to be somebody that you keep trying to work with. But you need some kind of information. You either need a phone number or you need an email. Um, a, a physical address would work to set them up on a neighbor for that neighborhood report. Um, but you still need an email for it to be sent to them, right? So you're you're always looking for information that'll get you to that next step. Because we want to take them from being a lead and turn them into a contact and then start nurturing them. Right. It's you know, you'll you'll get to where it's like you're really gonna love having having A buyers. They're ready, they're willing, they're able, let's go. Um but you got you get a lot of them that they're down the road, but I'll tell you something. You don't just go, oh shoot, they're six months away. You go, great, I'll have somebody in my pipeline six months from now. But you gotta work on them. You gotta work on them. Okay. Um, open houses, um, um, you know, when, when you're doing them in the flesh, you wanna you, you wanna get yourself um, um, a sign for the front yard that says open house, it's got your name on it, it's got your phone number. Um, I, I, I have used, most of us use quick signs um, for our signs. They're one of our preferred vendors. And, and um, Cindy and John Fredericks are, are just the salt of the earth. I, I, will, um, I got to know them real well on Rotary and they're just awesome people. Um, Price-wise, they're good and, um, um, and, uh, and they're, they, they're wonderful to work with. They're on it. Um, so you want to have one and then and then you, you, you need signs that will guide people in. So you got to bring them in from like a main arterial and be cautious of rules in the neighborhood. You do not want to have your signs stolen. Um, I, in fact, it is, I think it's PGI that finds you if you put signs where you're not supposed to be. Rotunda, you need to get, you need to talk to the, um, um, their association office to get, I think you need a permit. Um, wow. some, some neighborhoods you have to do little signs, you know, like little, little tiny ones. Um, Foxwood, oh my golly, that's what the, um, 
the homeowners, the gal from the, the, the association crawled right, right down my back. I had, I had one sign out on 776 in the median, which she couldn't do anything about. And then I have one that I leaned up against the garage door, ticked her off. You're not supposed to have any signs in there. <laughs> Sometimes in condos, you can put them in the window. That's it. Um, so be sure you, you have an idea of what the sign rules are. Um, you get, you know, you, you want to, you, you start out ahead of time to get your signs placed and, and um, um, you know, usually, you know, it, it, I would pick location, location when you start sitting, you know, uh, open houses in the flesh. Um, you don't want to be buried back someplace where nobody's going to find you. Um, I, my, one of my best places for, for getting buyers was um, um, I sat in an open house on, on some condos that were right down the road from our office. Man, I had I had tons of traffic. Um, it was awesome. Okay. Um, I, I, as far as, you know, baking cookies back in the day, that's what people did. Um, I, I used to go to Publix and buy them and, and, and no one would eat them. So I ended up eating them. <laughs> I go, let's have a cookie. And um, so now if I was doing open houses, I would just, I would probably have a nice looking dish with, you know, some wrapped candy in it. So, something, what you're trying to do is get somebody to stop a minute. And um, and I also would get those little little bottles of water and put them in a in a nice bucket or a nice bowl or something. Um, but um, you know the, the coffee we don't do coffee in Florida. Um, and um, um, I mean I do I drink coffee, but not at open houses. Um, okay, the the um, um, open houses when you're doing them digital. Now you're doing a different way. Now you're using. Um, you're leveraging Facebook, and, um, um, and and if you do it right and, and do event right out of uh, invites and the whole thing, you can you can get a, a, a fair number of leads out. Um, so that's that's, um, that's something to start thinking about. Lake did a really nice class on it. I think I sent you guys out information and all that stuff about it. Digital. So uh, when you're ready to go, uh, Pat, um, is there um, somebody that I could partner with to do a virtual open house? Sure. Why don't I mean, I've been talking. I've been talking to um, Debbie. Debbie Mack, I've been texting her and I've been looking at her Facebook page. I mean, I thought about maybe reaching out to her because I know she's been doing a few, but I really, I would really like to at least sit on one. That's, um, and also, how do, how do I get a key? Um, that I don't, I don't know if they're, if they're doing lockbox keys right now. That's a call to the board. Yeah, I was gonna see if I could send like an email because they're yeah. hard to get hold of. Yeah. Can I just ask one quick question? I'm dying to get on Debbie's Facebook page, and I searched for her yesterday. Do you? What is her name on there? Debbie, send me your send me your phone number, and I'll send you. Um, she sent me a picture. I had a hard time as well. Send me your phone number, and I'll I'll text you what she sent me to find her. Okay, send it to you right now, or how do I send it to you? Or just send it in the chat. I'll send me your phone number, and I'll send you the message that because. It took me about 10 minutes to find her. <laughs> okay. Okay. But she has some good stuff on there. Really good. I really, um, I was really thinking about texting her this morning and asking her if she's doing is another she, one, if I could tag along. Is she a Lakewood Ranch agent? Yes. Well, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, yes, I she is. And I, I've been watching her videos. She's, she's doing amazing, amazing. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Yeah. You know, somebody that, that um, um, from our office, um, we've got, um, um, I know Bobby Hamlin did one, but she couldn't figure out how to upload it to Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, call Blake. I said, because I don't know how to do that either. I, I, it's not, that's, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a technology trainer. I used to be, but now I'm just on purpose dumb. Um, it's, it's hard teaching that. Um, Leslie Brown would be one I would reach out to. 
Leslie Brown. Yeah, Les Leslie's doing a, Leslie's doing a lot of virtual open house. Okay. Um, so I would I would reach out to her because she she is ever so generous with you know you know with her time and and she's you know when I when I when I travel she would always be my backup because um, she's she's patient. Um, okay, I need patient. And she's, she's sweet. So <laughs> I need sweet. <laughs> so do I. So I, I would just reach out and just see if you can just you know just you know maybe 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 just do the same house because that way she's just going to get more more on her listing. Tell you. Right. Yeah. Yesterday I I was able to get um someone to let me list one of their houses and uh, I needed, I need some practice. So, um, I was able to, I did a paid ad, um, but I did it on, um, command and I guess it's going to be on my Facebook. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how this turns out, but I ran it for four days for, <laughs> I think $12, awesome. but, and it's, it's a big house too, but it's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a one point two. One point two million <laughs> but i'm like i want to just try this i need something to play with right now awesome that's all awesome how are we doing on time hang on okay oh we're out <laughs> uh, okay let me um so so we're, we're gonna have you do that so social media, you you guys know this is where you need to be now. I mean that's that's that, and that's there's. I'm glad to hear you're doing those ads. Um, you know the command is if you do ads through command, they're way cheaper than if you do them directly through you know Facebook. And um, you, you, it's a beautiful thing. And so keep keep looking in that that arena. And someone must be doing something, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna we're going to um um call call it a day today. The, the big thing is that you you want to pick what you want to work on, and uh, and 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 then and then just pursue it. Right now, you know you know that that digital is probably where you need to be, and um and so figure that out. Get Blake to help. I can't hear you for some reason. No. What did you just say? Can you hear me now? She says so. I, I can hear I you can now. I can hear you. Huh? I can hear you now. Okay, good. Um, I would reach out. To, I would just reach out to Blake. And and um, remember yesterday that Donnie was talking about his Tech Talk um, videos? Um, I also emailed you out links um, to all the command training. Um, so I would go in and if that was la last week's email. If you want, I can send it out again. I got it. What was that for command training? Uh huh. There was a whole bunch, just a whole bunch of little videos. They're all about 15 minutes long, and there's a ton of them. Um, yeah, I guess send it to me again. I didn't see that one. Okay, I will. Thank you. All righty, I'm gonna. So that you know, right now, you know, I I would leverage that, and then and then when we get back to you know normal times, then you then you know your your main things you're gonna you know you you, you can do mailings, you can do door knocking, you can do open houses, um, you can use social media, um, and and work your sphere, and and those are kind of like the main things. Okay. Yep. So we'll talk some more about that tomorrow when we get into marketing and um, about putting a plan together. Okay. Great. All right, guys. Thank sounds you. good. You all have a great, great day, and I will see you tomorrow. And um, yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Thank you. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. See you later, alligators. <laughs> <laughs> and please don just remember to send me that that uh just i'm gonna do it right now you're awesome have a great day guys i know <laughs> see you later take care <laughs> <I know. laughs>